What's going on guys? My name is Jake and welcome back to Gax Reviews. And today we are talking about the brand new Disney live action remake Mulan. The latest installment where Disney tries to shill and take as much money and nostalgia that you remember and just turn it and get rid of all of it while you're watching it. Uh, before we get started, I want you guys in that comment section below. Are you looking forward to this remake of Mulan? Do you love the original and will you be paying $30, $35 for it in whatever region you are to watch right now on Disney Plus or will you be waiting till December for when it's free? Let's get started with this. This is going to be controversial. So Mulan. To save her alien father from serving in the Imperial Army, a fearless young woman disguises herself as a man to battle northern invaders in China. All right. So in case you can't tell from that intro, I am not a fan of Disney's live action remakes. I think that they are very boneless, very spineless decisions by Disney to try to go back and remake these films for a newer audience and to capitalize on nostalgia for a lot of people. My problem with these movies is that they don't exist and they don't justify their existence. When you look at the originals and they are just perfection in their own with the songs, the animation, the story, the voice casting, all of this stuff that works and people have nostalgia for a reason because they're so beautiful films and you look at the lion king you look at the jungle book you look at lady and the tramp beauty and the beast cinderella all of these live action remakes that have come out a lot of them are far less superior to the originals and a lot of that comes down to disney not giving a shit about what they do with these movies every single movie from the live action remakes that i've seen so far has been a shot for shot remake that has no creativity and that drains every little emotion you have out of that movie. I'm a huge fan of The Lion King. I love that movie to death. That's my favorite Disney animated film and they butchered that thing hard last year and I'm still mad about it. I was fuming coming out of that theater because there is no life in it. It was a shot for shot remake and they took everything I loved about the original and made it worse. And Mulan, I'll give it the benefit of the, the doubt. Disney does something different with that. I applaud them for that. They didn't put any songs in it. They took out some characters. They changed the story slightly, but it still is not good. And this is where I come to my problem with these movies, because what do you do now with these live action remakes? Clearly one side or the other, whether you're making it a shot for shot remake or you're changing it up has not worked outside of the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is the one exception where I think it is built upon its original source material and has made it better because they've done something different fully a new adventure completely they take those beats you know and they build upon the characters and they still have callbacks to nostalgia this movie mulan tries to do that but it expects you to know everything about the original and just goes you know the original why do i have to tell you the story of this you can just figure it out for yourself because there's so many moments in this where mulan's story is not filled Part of the reason the original works so well is because you understand why Mulan could bring dishonor to her family. That you see multiple moments of Mulan having that inner battle with herself. That scene where she cuts her hair in the sword with the sword, and she's has that beautiful moment with the song, and she, you can tell how much of an emotional moment this is. None of that is here. They just go from cut to cut to cut in the moments where you would feel emotionally empowered and ultimately give you a character that you don't care about. And the fact that you strip Mulan so hard that you don't care about your own titular character is ridiculous. And that, that's where it comes down to is this movie is boring. It has nothing that improved upon the source material. And while I applaud it for trying to do something different, it just expects you to already know the original and doesn't build upon it. And like, where do you go from here now, Disney? Because you're just doing the same thing over and over again. And whether you do, whether you don't, you're going to get flack for it. And... A lot of this also just comes down to just it's boring and that's my ultimate complaint with this movie is there's nothing fun about this movie all the charm and the energy that was made i get it mushu is a lot of that but a lot of these are also the other character interactions that mulan has there's almost nothing of mulan interacting with other characters if they do you don't care about them because they don't give you a reason to care about them it's you're just basically watching a woman go on this journey and then just kind of do her own thing and all the moments where it should be emotional do not resonate because they cut out so many moments a lot of that comes down to the editing i wonder if they just left a lot of stuff on the floor because there's moments where mulan's doing something and all of a sudden she's somewhere else completely doing something else like within a second and that stuff just throws you out the first act and the first and second act are really drag i think it does get a little bit better towards that third act but the cgi is very noticeable and for a film that touts itself as realistic um it does a lot of things that isn't realistic you know you see the cgi uh you see <sighs> it's a film in uh, china that just 
they're all speaking English and there's no blood anywhere. And it's just like you look, you try to be, and you tout this as a realistic viewpoint of your new film, and it's just not. And what is this aiming for? Are you trying to get nostalgia right now, or are you doing this for younger people? Because younger people won't get anything out of this movie. There's nothing that will hold their attention. And I, as someone who has nostalgia for the first movie, got nothing out of this movie. So where does Disney go from here? I think ultimately Disney just needs to stop doing these, but they won't because they're getting money out of them. And I think this is where this comes down to for us, is if I can tell you not to spend your $30 on something because I, I'm done with these movies. I'm so over Disney's crap with these remakes. I don't want to see them anymore. I think that Disney needs to go back to what they are great at, which is doing some ridiculously great animation films. And I understand they do a Raya film coming out later. Good. I want them to do that. I want to see more hand-drawn stuff. I want to see more original stories. I want to see them do what they do best, and that's inspire children through these films with life and energy. And none of these remakes have been that. And it's depressing to watch. I, I'm, I'm just not, if I have kids in the future, I'm just not going to show them any of these things because what is there to love about these films? You just take everything about the originals and just trim it down. And ultimately, Mulan is a disappointment. Not that I was expecting much, but I'm, I'm done with these live action remakes. I'm going to give Mulan a two. Yeah, you can tell I'm just getting more riled and riled as this goes on. I, these, nothing has riled me up more than these live action remakes. And if I can say one thing to you guys, it would be save your $30, send a message to Disney, especially with their premium content, having this behind a paywall. I get why they did it. Circumstances of the world right now, it's not exactly easy. But I think charging $30 for this when it comes out free is ridiculous. Um, and they just refuse to put it in theaters in areas that are open, that you can get on Disney+, Plus. you can't see in a theater. I just think that they need, we need to send a message to Disney that these movies aren't going to fly. But... Until people stop watching them, Disney's going to keep doing them. And Lilo and Stitch is coming up. I've seen that. Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite films. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. The, this this is a huge issue that I have in movies right now. And it is a clear-cut definition of why Hollywood and people think they can just keep doing remakes over and over again because it makes money. So if we can try, if you guys are with me on this, uh, it might be very controversial. Just not don't buy it. Please just save your money try to send a message to Disney because I'm sure I'm not alone with not wanting these live action remakes. Uh, oh boy, that, that is going to be a controversial video. Uh, that about wraps up this video. Please be nice to me. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy the video, if you could hit that like button as well. I want you guys in the comment section below, please. What do you think of these live action remakes? What side are you on? I want to have a nice, healthy discussion about this because I know people who do love these movies and I want to know why you love them. That's really what I want to understand. Uh, as well, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.